Let's find the derivative of x plus 1 over x using the limit definition of the derivative. Really, you can just split this up into the sum of two derivatives, but let's just apply the limit definition to this as a single function to see how it works out. By definition, the derivative of this function is the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h plus 1 over x plus h, so that's the function evaluated at x plus h, minus the function evaluated at x, so minus x minus 1 over x, and all of this is divided by h. So this is just that limit, x plus h definition of the derivative you should be familiar with. Then the x and the minus x cancel out, and from there we'll separate the fraction. We have h over h, which we will write on its own, plus 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x over h, which we write separately. So we now have this limit statement. By the limit sum law, we can rewrite this limit of a sum as a sum of limits. So we have the limit of h over h plus the limit of this big fraction. Now the limit of h over h as h approaches zero is just one because h over h is just one. On the right side, we're going to have to get common denominators so that we can combine the fractions in the numerator. To get common denominators, we'll need to multiply this fraction on the left by x over x, and the fraction on the right we multiply by x plus h over x plus h. In each case, we're just multiplying by 1, so we're not changing anything here, we're just getting common denominators. Now you can see that they do have common denominators. We have x over x plus h times x minus x plus h over x plus h times x. This is all still over h. But now we can combine the fractions. So we have all over x plus h times x, x minus x minus h. Remember that this negative distributes to both the x and the h. So when we combine the fractions, we have x minus x minus h. This whole thing is still getting divided by h, and we also still have that one from the h over h limit. All right, we are almost there. Now we have one plus, look up here, the x's cancel out. So we just have minus h in the numerator, and this x plus hx in the denominator, we can put in a single denominator with h down there. So we just have negative h divided by x times x plus h, and also getting divided by h. So it looks like this. Now the h and the h cancel out, and we're just left with 1 plus the limit, with negative 1 in the numerator, because these h's cancelled out, divided by x times x plus h. At this point, we can just plug h equals 0 in. We're not going to have any problems. In the denominator, that's just going to be x times x plus 0, which is just x times x. And so we get our final answer. It is 1 minus 1 over x squared. After we plug in 0 for h, this just becomes negative 1 over x squared, so this is the derivative. And that's how you find the derivative of x plus 1 over x using the limit definition. We broke the limit up into smaller pieces, and then we just used some common denominators so that we could combine fractions and simplify. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.